YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you about a couple tricks that you can do on a Mac that you might not know about. Now these involve an application that comes with every Mac and that's called Terminal. I'll zoom in and show you how to get to that. Okay, so first off you're going to go into Spotlight and then you're going to... I'll zoom out for you. You're gonna type in terminal T E R. Okay, there it is. Enter. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Okay, so all we're gonna type in. Um, first off, I'm gonna keep zoomed in because first off, this one is gonna make it so the dock has a bunch of magnification, a bunch of magnification. Um, I have it off, but I'll turn it right on. Dock. Magnification on. To the max. Okay, so we're going to enter this code to make it even. Wait. Okay, so first off, we can go to the dock. It has a, a little bit of magnification. I'm going to show you how to get more. I'll zoom in. Okay, here's the code. Defaults. Oh yeah, this will be in an annotation and the description. Alright, so defaults. Write. Com. Dot apple. Dot doc. Space large size. One word. Dash int. Five twelve. Now you're going to hit enter, and you're going to type in kill all as one word, and doc as another with capital D. And then you're going to hit enter. The doc will reset, and then when you go into it, look how big that magnification is. Now to undo that, all you do is you go to system preferences, doc. You can turn off magnification will completely undo it, but when you turn it on, it's still there. So just do that, and then it'll be back. Okay, another one is to make your Mac say something. So um, I don't need to zoom in for this. It's a simple code. It's just say, and then whatever you want. Hi. I think you heard that. So then, that's basically it. Now this one, I'm going to show you how to play games in Terminal. Okay. Um. So you're going to type in Emacs. Hit enter. Now you're just going to type in Escape. The escape button and then X, and then you're gonna type in any of the file. Okay, you can type in Tetris, enter, and then you can play Tetris. Use the. Uh, I'll zoom in. You can use the arrow keys. Escape X. I'll type in Pong. You can play Pong. Or I'll type in Snake. And you have the snake. Okay, that's basically that. You can also type in doctor. I'll, I'll zoom out.
Now this one there is a path. So I'm gonna go into the finder, button dash H D. I don't know it, so alright. I think I know it. Um I'll put this in the description. This is really long. You know, I'll, I'll just put that one in the description, because I don't know it right now. But uh, basically what it does is it makes your desktop um, all over here the screensaver. And it's actually really cool. Um, another one is uh, to uh, make it so you can, like, freeze in the middle of minimizing. So you, so you minimize, and then it usually minimizes. I made it so it minimizes into the icon. Now what you're gonna do is, I if you hold shift and then to minimize, I'll show you. It minimizes in slow-mo. Same with opening. So th what this code does is it makes it so that it'll freeze in the middle. It's very simple. All you do is type in kill all doc, like that. I'll post that in the video description, and you do the same thing. I'll zoom out for you. And then you just hit enter when you're done. Enter. Dang it. Try doing it with, like, system preferences or something. Um. Alright, so we're gonna do Okay, you guys ready? I'll put this down. And as you can see, it, it's frozen. Now it is a little off. It is a little off, and it's a little hard to do but um yeah that's basically that now i'm going to show you how to disable dashboard now i see when i go into my application stack and then i go to dashboard nothing happens because i disable it i'm going to be showing you how to do that um basically i can zoom in for you oh yeah all codes will be in the video description so you're going to type in defaults you can't see that D defaults right um dot apple dot dashboard space MCX dash disabled space dash boolean space now um, you're going to type in all caps, yes, if you want to disable dashboard, or no, if you do not. So I'll type in no, though it does waste a little bit of memory. So then all you're going to type in is kill all doc. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to hit enter, and the doc will reset. And then when I go into my stash, and then my dashboard, it opens dashboard. That's basically that. Uh, one more thing. Now, this has nothing to do with the terminal. I'll zoom in for you. Okay, this has nothing to do with the terminal, but if you see all these icons, if you want, um, if you want to move them around, you can just hold command and then the button, and then you can move it around. The only one you cannot move is Spotlight. So that's basically um, the tricks that you can do with a Mac. Subscribe, leave comments, and thank you.